Thanks again to the Your Amigos organizers for having me among other great rising stars here at the conference this year. My trial was looking at algometastatic urothelial cancer and posited that with uh, better response rates with EV pembrolizumab up front, as we saw in EV302, are there a select population of patients that we can cure, potentially those with oligometastatic disease, one to three metastatic sites. Um, so my trial was a pilot trial of 20 patients looking at um, this population of oligometastatic patients, uh, EV pembrolizumab um, after nine weeks of treatment, and those who had stable disease or partial response they could be um, eligible for radiation to the primary if intact, and then um, metastasis-directed therapy to the metastatic sites. Um, and the primary endpoints would be feasibility and safety, and if that's proven, then we would take this to a larger randomized trial. Ultimate goal would be to, you know, if we can consolidate therapy up front, kind of like the Medicare paradigm, um, can we de-escalate potentially EV therapy in these patients eventually if we can show show at least um, a comparable outcome with um, radiation and EV pembro. Besides the Euromigos Cup, um, I thought the discussion on PARP inhibitors was very enlightening. Um, we're still trying to understand the different types of HRR mutations and how to best select patients for PARP inhibitor and in combination and um, alone, and which patients with MCRPC really should be. Um, I think we have the best data for BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations, but other HRR mutations, you know, the data is a little more muddy. So I think that was an excellent um, discussion among the panelists.